I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner Elusive. Hello, I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner Elusive, Ellie for short. <laughs> and we're here to tell you how to care for your rabbit so that you can have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. <laughs> and today I have a little story for you. Today I have a story for you about one of my older buns. Her name was Tenshi, and I had her when I was in high school all the way up through my mid-twenties. When I was younger and inexperienced, I did not feed her the correct diet, and she ended up getting very overweight. Really, it's it's pretty dangerous for the rabbit's health, and I was very lucky that with, with Tenshi, I was able to get her on a diet soon enough so that she could um, lose lose weight slowly and become a healthy bunny again and live a long life because she ended up living to be 13 after all is said and done but I want to let you know today what I did to help her lose weight and help her become a healthy rabbit again first I want to talk about obesity and rabbits in general it is actually very very dangerous for rabbits even even more so than a lot of other species because rabbits have a very sensitive digestive system <laughs> Um, they, they have a, it's a one-way digestive system basically where, so they can't vomit, um, and everything that they eat has to end up going through their digestive system and out the other end, which is part of why rabbits poop so much also. Obesity can end up leading to some serious digestive health problems in rabbits, so their, their health kind of depends on their gut moving from front to end. When they have an unhealthy diet or are otherwise getting fat, it kind of slows down the digestive system so that it doesn't work as efficiently as it should. That can end up causing some serious issues for rabbits, uh, such as GI stasis, which is when their gut slows down to the point where it pretty much stops, and then they can't eat and they can't poop, and then if you don't catch, catch the signs of GI stasis in time, it can end up being fatal for the rabbit. And that is a very big big uh, possibility for obese rabbits as their digestive system is just not efficient anymore it's just not working properly obesity can also make it very difficult for rabbits to clean themselves because they have to kind of reach around all of the those layers of fat to try and clean the poop off their butt or if they happen to spray themselves a little bit while they're urinating they can get urine scalds and it'll cause, cause sores on their skin also obese rabbits tend to have mushier poops or mushier it's actually the cecotropes that are the mushy ones, um, but they become kind of deformed and are more likely to to mush mush up and end up sticking to your rabbit's butt. And eventually, it will form this like ball of poop that gets stuck to rabbit's butt. They can't reach it to clean it off. So you're gonna like if you have an obese rabbit, there's a lot of extra care that you're gonna have to do to help them keep stay clean because they're not going to be able to do it themselves anymore. Obese rabbits are also more at risk of having other health issues such as arthritis or sore hocks, which are uh, when they get sores on the bottom of their heels because of the way that they're putting weight onto their joints and onto their feet. It can cause some problems and some sores and some, some pain, essentially, um, because there's just too much weight in places where it shouldn't be. And also surgery is much more difficult for obese rabbits so if you ever if you if your rabbit ever gets sick for any reason it's actually much more difficult for your vet to be able to help them get better because there's all this fat in the way of the organs um, that they're trying to get to so that they can help your rabbit get better surgery is something that is very risky for rabbits in general but even more so for rabbits that are obese so there are so many reasons why you really don't want to have a fat rabbit. We all want our rabbits to live long and happy lives, so let's step away from all of the sad like health problems and let's talk into how we can help help your rabbit lose weight or keep them from gaining all that weight to start with. So first let's talk about how can you tell if your rabbit is overweight? Because uh, sometimes it's not that easy, especially if your rabbit happen happens to have like, like be an Angora rabbit with very long hair. Um, fur <laughs> with very long fur or um, you know otherwise you just can't tell by looking. <laughs> Hi Sealy. What vets will use to kind of determine if a rabbit is overweight or underweight or you know ideal weight is they'll use this uh, body scoring chart. 
It's just basically feel the rabbit. Can you feel their spine? Can you feel their hips? Can you feel their ribs? And how much fat is around like their abdomen area? Basically from feeling those bones, using that as an indication for, okay, is this animal overweight? So for rabbits, what you want to do is feel their spine. You want to be able to feel their spine pretty easily. You don't want it to feel sharp because that, that's actually an indication that they're underweight, but you want to be able to feel their spine without having to like press through layers of fat. Um, but their spine and then their ribs also, those are two really big areas where you will, well, you just, just feel it. Don't, don't push too hard, but if you can just feel it without any extra effort of trying to kind of push through, then, then your rabbit is probably fine. Um, you can, uh, you can also check their uh, hips and just by looking at them, look at like the size of their head compared to the rest of their body because their head doesn't end up putting on as much fat as especially around their waist and their chest. Sometimes just by looking at them. Again, sometimes if you have a, a longer haired rabbit like an angora rabbit, that's not uh, as good as an indicator just looking at them. So you, you also want to feel around them and you want to be able to feel, feel their ribs, feel their spine easily. Um, but it should not be sharp because that means your rabbit's a little underweight and you need to adjust the diet to help them gain a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to let you know what I did to help my rabbit lose weight, but I also want you, if you have an obese rabbit, I want you to consult your veterinarian before you make any changes to your rabbit's diet because sometimes there's, there's underlying medical conditions. There can be other dangers involved when changing your rabbit's diet, so always consult your veterinarian before making any drastic changes. But I also do want you to know that it is definitely possible for you to make some simple changes to your rabbit's diet that can really help them lose weight over the long term. When you do transition your rabbit to a new diet or a new food, you don't want them to lose weight too quickly. Because rabbits do have such a sensitive digestive system, you always want to make changes slowly over a period of time. So what you're going to do is, say you're transitioning to a new food, in week one, Three quarters of the food you give them are going to be their old food. And then one quarter of the food you give them is going to be their new, healthier food. And then you'll do that for a week. And then the second week, you will switch to doing half of their old food and then half of their new food. So that then they can get slowly used to this new food at the same time. And then in week three, you will add three quarters of new food and then just one quarter of their old food. And then in the fourth week, you can have it switched completely over to the new healthier food. Same thing if you're reducing the amount of food that you're giving a rabbit, you don't want to just automatically cut off their pellets completely. You want to slowly reduce the amount that you give them over time so that it's not a drastic change to your rabbit's diet and their digestive system won't suffer and your rabbit will, <laughs> won't go into uh, any kind of digestive won't have any digestive problems as a result of changing their food. The first thing you're going to want to consider when helping your rabbit lose weight is uh, their pellets. Most people actually give their rabbit too many pellets. Uh, that was definitely the mistake I was making when I was growing up. I basically gave my rabbit unlimited pellets and what do you know is she then eats them instead of the hay and then gains weight. You want to limit the amount of pellets you give to your rabbit. Honestly, Pellets aren't even 100% necessary as part of your rabbit's diet. They do have extra vitamins and proteins. They're usually, the healthy brands of pellets are fortified and do have some health benefits to your rabbit. So it's not bad to give them some, but you do want to limit the amount that you give them. So the amount that you give them is going to depend on the size of your rabbit. A little rabbit that's maybe four pounds or less, you only want to give them maximum a quarter cup a day. like. That's it, not very much. It's totally okay if they finish their pellets and run out. That's what the hay is for. They never are gonna run out of hay, so they always have food to eat, but you don't need to have, they don't need to have pellets all day long. I give my rabbit pellets as a breakfast, basically. I'll give her pellets as breakfast in the morning, and then I'll give her leafy greens in the evening for dinner, and that's just kind of how we do it. Whatever time of day you choose to give them their pellets, just make sure you limit and strictly measure how much you're giving them. So for a little four pound or less rabbit, uh, you don't want to give them more than a quarter cup. Honestly, if they're very, if they're a very small rabbit, like two pounds, just a couple tablespoons, that's perfectly fine. 
Uh, if you have like a slightly bigger rabbit who's maybe like four to eight pounds, then up to a half a cup is okay. Um, and then bigger than that, you can add another quarter cup onto it. It really depends on what the healthy weight of your rabbit is. So I should uh, correct myself. It's not the weight that your rabbit is right now, but the weight that they would be as um, a healthy rabbit. So if you have a rabbit who should be four pounds, but actually weighs six pounds, you want to give her the amount of pellets uh, that they would have for um, a four pound rabbit, um, rather than the six pounds that she weighs right now. <laughs> um, now, I also want you to consider the type of pellets that you give your rabbit. So a lot of uh, pet stores will sell these like f mixed rabbit pellets with uh, like these colorful fruity bits in it and those are really 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 unhealthy for rabbits so if that's the type of food that you're giving them you're going to want to transition them to a new healthier food uh, the type of rabbit food you're looking for it doesn't have any of those colorful bits it's just those plain boring pellets <laughs> um, the brand that i use is oxbow there are a couple other brands that have healthy rabbits i'll leave a link to what i use in the description below and uh, you can then go Go find uh, what you like, um, but you definitely want it to be just the plain uh, healthy, just the plain he healthy fortified pellets. That's it, nothing more. And you want to check the ingredients on them, and you want to make sure that the number one ingredient is Timothy hay or Timothy grass or something like that. But you want it to be Timothy based pellets, and then transition them to that healthier pellets slowly over time, over like four weeks, like I mentioned earlier. Depending on what your vet says, uh, they may actually recommend that you uh, transition rabbit off of pellets completely until they lose weight. So definitely pay attention to your vet. Like <laughs> their, their word is definitely better than mine. I am not a veterinarian. I just know that based on, based on my experience, what has worked with my rabbit in the past, just limiting the pellets, um, limiting the pellets ended up working. Okay, next order of business that we need to talk about is the treats. <laughs> While your rabbit is losing weight, you really, really need to resist giving them treats. I know, I know it's so hard to resist because they're just so cute and then like you just want to give them like another piece of banana or another piece of apple and you have to resist because this is for their own good, it's for their health and once they're at a healthy weight again, you can start to introduce treats um, just a little little bits of treats, um, but you really do need to uh, com basically completely stop the treats that you're giving them right now and then in the future limit them to just a tablespoon a day so that they don't end up gaining that weight back because too much sugar can be really bad for a rabbit's diet and it will will cause them to gain weight, but you got to do it. Now, if you want to give your rabbit something instead of the treat because, you know, they're just too cute. What you can do instead is give your rabbit some extra fresh greens. So go get like a, an extra sprig of parsley or an extra basil leaf or something like that. And you can give that as a treat because rabbits will usually like that just as much and be just as happy to get that. So it's a way to give them a little bit of an extra, extra treat that's going to be a lot healthier for them than, um, giving them a piece of strawberry or a piece of banana or something like that. You definitely want to err on the side of healthy instead, but that's kind of how you can get around that no treats rule. It's a uh, give them something healthy instead. You can possibly also give them, there's some like baked Timothy based treats that have just a little bit of sweet flavoring in them. Um, still don't give them too many of those, but one of those every now and again would also probably be okay, <laughs> even while your rabbit is losing weight. The last thing that I want to talk about is exercise. So you want to make sure your rabbit is getting enough exercise so that that will also help them lose weight. The un number one mistake that people make is that they don't have an enclosure that's big enough for their rabbit. So during the day, that rabbit is just kind of, that the rabbit isn't out in the house and doesn't have time to exercise. They're just kind of stuck in this small, small little, cage and they don't really have a way to move around much maybe just a little bit and that ends up leading to them just sitting around all day and of course <laughs> what are you gonna do if you sit around all day probably just gain weight you want to a make sure your rabbit's enclosure is big enough 
And if you do have one of these small cages to start with, what I recommend is getting one of these pens and you can attach it to the cage, um, like using zip ties or, or something along those lines. So attach it around the outside of the cage so that then your rabbit has um, an extended exercise area all the time and it doesn't have to just be when you're home. Now you do also want to give them more exercise time when you are home. So um, making sure that you give them at least like two hours a day can help them get more exercise and lose weight. You also want to consider the time of day that you're allowing your rabbit to exercise. So rabbits are what are known as crepuscular animals. I think I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> but essentially what that means is they are more active in the morning and in the evening, um, the dawn and the dusk hours. So you can consider uh, allowing your rabbit out to exercise more like in the wider house uh, during those times of day because they're more likely to be more active and running around. What you can also do is um, uh, with their pellets, you can um, either, in, instead of putting them in a bowl so your rabbit can get them all in one place, you can spread them along the floor so that your rabbit will have to move around to get them. You can also um, spread them into the litter box. You can just like sprinkle them around there while they're eating hay, they can also get the pellets and stuff. And that will encourage them to eat more hay also. You can also use a toy like this one and I'll put the pellets in there and then uh, put it on the floor and they'll be forced to um, use uh, roll it around so that they can get the pellets out and then they won't be eating too fast and they'll also um, they'll also be moving around <laughs> hi silly and they'll also be moving around to end up getting all of those pellets out and it's not just sitting in one place that's what you can do to help your rabbit be more active if you're interested in more videos about how to care for your rabbit and other facts about rabbits, um, you can subscribe here and hit the little no notification bell. And um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.